Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for March 2024. These readings are for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to have a money reading, then we'll have a love reading, and I've also attached a Law of Attraction message in the description box if you are interested in that. What advice do you have for Virgo to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Virgo need to know about money, please? All right, four card reading with the Oracle cards here. Oracles have already been shuffled. This is the Moonology Manifestation, just to save a little bit of time. Oh, I love that one. Okay, we get it a lot though. All right, I'll tell you in a minute. Four of Wands, the High Priestess, the this is your guardian angel of finance. That's in the outcome, the, the Knight of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like there's something about staying true to yourself. You have big time here with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. If you have a worry about something at work, I feel like you need to pay attention to it. All right. If there's like a concern that are people going to be downsizing? Do I need to leave? Or is this going to be happening? There's all kinds of, I heard scuttlebutt, like rumors. That's kind of an old timey saying, right? How often do you hear that one? You have first quarter moon and cancer push through any insecurity. So those of you too, if you're looking to move on or you're looking to apply for a job internally and you're a little nervous about it, get your resume up to standard. Get yourself ready so you can feel secure. And know too, what is meant for you will not miss you. What is yours will not leave. So I do feel like if there's something like that, um, you've got with this in the past, the Four of Wands, the 1111 card. So I feel like the universe has been co-creating with you, conspiring with you to say, come over this way, Virgo. If you started at a job, I feel like you have more opportunities coming in here because this isn't this is a path. This is not the end game. So even if you have a job that you say, I know that was a good opportunity, I feel like you're drawing in more. Now, if you're looking to do something like a business, create your own business kind of a deal, I feel like it's time to open up and it's time to put yourself out there. I mean, when I started this, I had no idea how to even film a video, really. I didn't even know how to upload a video. I knew nothing. I just knew how to read tarot. And so those kinds of things, when those hit you, they're for you. So I do feel like somebody here has an idea, a great idea. And with that high priestess energy, she is a card of passivity. She is a card of analysis. However, she also likes to work on her own. So if you have something that you're looking to do and it is kind of a solo thing, I feel like it's time to gather as much information as you can. But matter comes from the mind with this one. You see that gown? It's in flow. So meditate, quiet the mind, do spiritual stuff, get out all your crystals and run them all over your hands and your face. I don't know, whatever it is that brings you that feeling of being connected. Go outside if it's warm enough and stand in the grass. Be connected with the Mother Earth because you have progress. Now, I know he moves a little slow, but this is about a commitment. So anything you start will run the duration and there will not be mistakes. So even if it's a housing move, It'll be done the right way so you won't find out later they screwed up the paperwork and you have to go back in or it's going to cost more than they said. No, no, no. This is perfection. It's attention to detail. And so with this, it's also great confidence. Okay, remember push through insecurity? He's very steady. He is steady Eddie. So I feel like as you move forward, things are going to be steady and stable. And with that Queen of Cups, it really is about following your heart, following your intuition, but it's also self-care. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you're taking care of yourself first because we can't give away what we don't have, right? All right, so we're going to just cut these guys, the Fortune Oracle. Really nice reading though. You've got abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. It can't get any better than that, can it? For a money reading, that was excellent. Let's see now, Virgo, what they want to tell you about love. All right, what does Virgo need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What messages do you have for Virgo about love, please? Whew. All right, so we will do the same setup here. Four cards with an oracle. 
Got the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Oh, dear Lord. Queen of Pentacles. I like that in the outcome because she has the perfect balance. I'm going to take this one, too, because I looked right at it. That's in the advice anyway, so I'm not cheating. Um, you've got the two twos. Twos are about partnerships. Should I stay or should I go? But you have something here with this infinity symbol in terms of finding a match. It brings people in. This is also about your ships coming in. So I feel like if you're in the midst of a transition in some other area of your life, that's what's creating that two of swords. I know I don't have very much time in my personal life, so... I can understand, too, where you might say, this is not quite the right timing. The universe has perfect timing, though. So with this Two of Pentacles, it is a bit of a juggling act. Now, if you're a single parent, that also could be I'm juggling my career, my kids, my, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or even a move. I do feel like something created a juggling act. Now, if you're in a relationship, we got to get back to center in that relationship. If it's one that you want to stay alive, because this is like getting too busy. And then you know what happens? Oh, your partner's invisible. Can't see you. You're totally invisible and I'm locked up here. So this is not great. If you're currently in a jam with a partnership, we got to get open because the bottom sword is fear. The top sword is anger. Now, if you're asking about reconciliation, you do have a return with the page of cups there. But I feel like, again, you've got to get, you've got to open yourself up because this is such guarded energy. And I, what I get with it for reconciliation people is frustration and anger about whatever went on, but then the fear that they're going to move on with somebody else. <clears throat> That's what I get. That fear, what if they don't return? And that is not going to help, okay? So we've got to live it. You know, I once, one time a long time ago, had a breakup and I read Rhonda Burns' The Magic. And I'll tell you what, I did those practices and they did come back. Now, it wasn't long-lasting because it wasn't the right person for me, but I will tell you with that, we've got to get more in line with seeing the person that you want in front of you because you'll manifest whoever it is that you those qualities will come. So if it's supposed to be a new person, your best, your best way to do that is with looking at the qualities, what types of qualities you want in your life. So you have here a person who's a partner for life. Could be an earth sign too that you're attracting Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But either way, Virgo, this is somebody who's stable. It's somebody who's going to get you, okay? It's somebody who really understands your priorities, but not even that, they make you a priority. They understand that they have to, to could not just commit, but invest in the relationship. So you've got this 10 of wands advice. It's time to start a new cycle and to put down those burdensome wands. The Page of Cups brings in romance. It makes things light again, easy again. So I feel like they're saying it's time for you to take a, a page out of the playbook of the Page of Cups and be light and be easy. He likes to text emojis and he watches rom-coms and cries. Now, you don't have to quite do that, but I feel like they're saying it's time to be kinder, gentler, softer, especially if you are single because that will attract, okay? That kind of energy attracts. People love it. All right, let's see here. What else do you need to know? This is the whispers of love. Romance, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So they mentioned that too, being open, but also too being demonstrative about your love, Virgo. Good things are on the way. I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.